This is CNN Breaking News. That breaking news is coming out of Haiti. That's where Americans are trapped in a Port-au-Prince hotel. This amid violent, uh, violent protests over rising fuel prices that have killed at least three people since yesterday. Take a look at this video taken in the Capitol. It shows cars on fire and smoke billowing throughout the city. At least three U.S. airlines have canceled all of their flights into Haiti so far, and others are expected to follow. Now, while things are calmer now, at one point there was rioting, looting, and fires at the Oasis Hotel. 50 Americans, right, children, tourists, and missionaries are all staying there. We're told that no one is being allowed to leave the hotel. Also, there are roadblocks in front of the Oasis. Evacuation plans are being made in case the violence erupts again. Stacey Lombardi Bourne is on the phone with us now. She is a guest at the Oasis Hotel. Uh, Stacey, first tell me, uh, are you and, and the folks you're traveling with, are you safe? And give us an idea of what the situation is like there right now. First, let me say Haiti was one of the most beautiful places I have ever visited, and the people are even more beautiful. However, I wanted to take the time to discuss the controversy that's been reported on the news the past week regarding the tours, missionaries, and other citizens who have been stuck in the hotel due to the rioting. Now, most of us do not fully understand what is actually occurring in this country because news likes to create the most hectic story for revenue. However, I would enjoy to tell you the true and honest explanation. First, Haiti is a country built on motorbikes and trucks, which is the main transportation for economy making a very valuable resource. But starting last week, the gas prices increased 51% than originally. Leadingly, it may not be a big issue to us, but coming from a country where 77% of the population is in poverty is a huge deal, especially when these families are taking care of their children, food, rent, vehicles, etc. Which for the Haitian standpoint is a feeling of constant fear, something too hard to imagine for us. Even more, we have to imagine no food or job when these prices increased. This creates Haitians to feel threatened, although the Haitians that are rioting are only a small percentage of the total population. Now, as I said before, Haiti is a country with the most beautiful people, including people who I couldn't imagine not being content with even little to nothing. I can stand to say the people of Haiti are anything than obstructive, terrifying, and rude people, but people I would love to be around with my whole life. All their qualities are great, and I am happy to know I became friends with some who I met on my trip to Liu Jane. And even though Haiti may be in a rough state right now, it does not give the right to claim Haitians as people to be worried of until you have put yourself in there.